Hey guys, welcome to Better English Listening. Now, you will hear everyday conversations happening in various situations and settings. This will help you expand your vocabulary and become better at understanding and speaking English. So, let's begin. Run out of, deplete the supply of something. Uh oh, we're about to run out of milk. Seriously? We just bought some yesterday. I can't believe we're already running out. I know, it seems like we run out of milk so quickly these days. I guess we're using it for coffee, cereal, and cooking. True, we should try to use it more sparingly. Do we have any backups in the pantry? I think we have a can of powdered milk. But it's not the same. We should add it to the grocery list so we don't run out again. Good idea. And speaking of the grocery list, we're also about to run out of toilet paper. We need to stock up on that too. Right. It's always frustrating when we run out of essential items like toilet paper. Let's make sure we don't forget it at the store. Agreed. We don't want to run out of the basics. I'll add both milk and toilet paper to the list. Perfect. It'll be a relief not to run out of those necessities again. It's a balancing act. I've been feeling overwhelmed. Juggling work, family, and personal life, it's all become a massive balancing act. I can relate. It's tough to keep all those aspects of life in equilibrium. How do you manage it? Well, I've started by setting clear priorities. Family comes first, then work, and whatever's left is for personal time. That sounds like a good strategy. How about self care? You mustn't forget to take care of yourself in all this. You're right. I've neglected that a bit. I need to carve out time for me, too. It's essential for your overall well being. What about delegating tasks at work or home? I'm slowly learning to do that. At work, I've started to delegate some responsibilities. And at home, I'm getting my family involved. Good moves. It's not a sign of weakness to ask for help. It's smart. Thanks for the support. Sometimes it feels like a never ending juggling act, but I'm determined to find balance. You've got this. Remember, it's an ongoing process, and it's okay to adjust as you go. I appreciate your encouragement. I'm working on it day by day. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't risk everything on a single plan or investment. Hey, I heard you're considering investing all your savings into that one startup. Is that true? Yeah, I've been thinking about it. I have high hopes for this company, and it could really pay off. I get your enthusiasm, but have you considered the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket? I have, but I think this is a golden opportunity. The potential returns are huge. True, but what if things don't go as planned? Diversifying your investments might be a safer approach. You have a point. I don't want to risk losing everything. 
Maybe I should spread my money across a few investments. That sounds like a more balanced strategy. It reduces the risk and ensures your financial security. I suppose you're right. It's just that the allure of hitting it big with one investment is tempting. I understand. But remember, financial stability and smart investment choices often come from not putting all your eggs in one basket. Thanks for the advice. I'll reconsider my approach and look into diversifying my investments. It's always good to weigh your options and minimize potential risks. Your financial future will thank you for it. Absolutely better safe than sorry. It's a long shot. I've been thinking about applying for that prestigious scholarship. That's an impressive opportunity, but isn't it incredibly competitive? It is. Honestly, it's a long shot, but I want to give it a try. It's great to aim high, but do you have a plan in case it doesn't work out? Absolutely. I'm also looking into other financial options for my education. This scholarship is a dream, but I won't put all my eggs in one basket. That's a wise approach. It's essential to have a backup plan. I know, but I don't want to regret not trying for the scholarship. I admire your determination. Just remember, even if it doesn't work out, it doesn't define your worth or potential. Thanks for the support. I'm aware it's a long shot, but it's a shot worth taking. I'm rooting for you and your pursuit of this opportunity. You never know, sometimes long shots pay off. Give the benefit of the doubt to believe someone's statement without being skeptical or critical. I can't believe Sarah hasn't replied to my messages for a week. Do you think she's avoiding me? Well, before jumping to conclusions, why not give her the benefit of the doubt? Maybe she's been busy or facing some personal issues. I suppose that's possible, but we've always been so close, and it's not like her to ignore me. True, but people can have their reasons. You know, sometimes we all go through challenging times. You're right. Maybe I should reach out to her with a supportive message instead of assuming the worst. That sounds like a good idea. It shows you care and are willing to understand her situation. I just don't want to lose a friendship over a misunderstanding. It's a healthy approach. Giving someone the benefit of the doubt can prevent unnecessary strain on relationships. I appreciate your advice. I'll send her a message and let her know I'm here if she needs anything. That's a kind gesture. And remember, it's a way to show you value your friendship even in uncertain times. Thanks for being a voice of reason. It's easy to jump to conclusions, but giving the benefit of the doubt can make all the difference. Birds of a feather flock together. People who are similar tend to associate with each other. You know, it's funny how people with similar interests always seem to find each other. Absolutely. It's like that old saying, birds of a feather flock together. It's so true. Yeah, it's like a natural magnetism. I've noticed it in so many aspects of life. Even at work, I always gravitate towards colleagues who share my passion for technology. That's true. I've experienced the same thing in my book club. We all love reading, 
and our discussions are so engaging because of it. It's not just hobbies, either. Even when it comes to personal values and beliefs, people tend to connect with those who think like them. I completely agree. It's comforting to be surrounded by like-minded individuals, whether it's in your social circles or even in your political views. And sometimes it's not just about being alike, but also about the support and understanding you receive from these bettered friends. They just get you. That's the beauty of it. It's as if we're all part of the same flock, and that shared connection enriches our lives in so many ways. Make a long story short to summarize a lengthy explanation. So, I was telling you about that vacation we took last summer. We flew to this remote island, and you won't believe how we had to catch three connecting flights to get there. Oh, that sounds like quite an adventure. It was. We finally arrived, and the weather was beautiful. We decided to explore the island, and visited all these incredible beaches, hiked through lush forests, and even went scuba diving. Sounds amazing. How long did you stay? Well, the trip was supposed to be two weeks, but after about five days, a massive storm hit the island. That must have been scary. It was. We had to stay indoors for days, and the resort had some damage. Eventually, they had to evacuate us early. That sounds like a roller coaster of a trip. Definitely. So, to make a long story short, we got to enjoy a few days of paradise, and then had to leave early due to a storm. Wow, that was indeed a whirlwind adventure. Yeah, you could say that. I have to jump through hoops. You won't believe what I have to do for this project. It's like I have to jump through hoops just to make it happen. That sounds incredibly challenging. What's causing all the extra work? Well, there are so many bureaucratic hurdles to clear. I need approvals from multiple departments, and it feels like a never-ending process. I, that does sound frustrating. Have you tried talking to anyone to streamline the process? I've been in constant communication with my supervisor, but it's still quite the ordeal. Hang in there, it might get easier as you go. Is there anything I can do to help? Thanks, I appreciate the offer. For now, I think I just need to keep pushing through and following the protocol. I completely understand. Sometimes these situations test our patience and resilience. They sure do. I just hope it'll all be worth it in the end. I'm rooting for you, and I know you'll pull it off, even if you have to jump through a few more hoops. Thanks for the encouragement. It means a lot. I have to get my ducks in a row. You know, I've been thinking a lot lately, and I really need to get my ducks in a row. I understand what you mean. What's been going on that's got you thinking that way? Well, 
My finances are a mess, and I've been procrastinating on important life decisions. It's time to take control. It's great that you're acknowledging it. Have you considered where to start? Yeah, I'm going to create a budget and start saving more. I also need to set clear goals for my career and personal life. That sounds like a solid plan. Breaking things down into manageable steps can make it less overwhelming. I'm also thinking of decluttering my living space and simplifying my routines. Less chaos, more focus. Simplifying can definitely help. Just remember, it's a journey, not a sprint. Be patient with yourself. Thanks for the encouragement. I know it won't be easy, but I'm determined to get my life in order. You've got this. I'm here to support you every step of the way. Let's get those ducks in a row together. Piece of the pie, a share in something, often a financial share. You know, the company's been doing really well lately, and I've been working hard. I'm hoping for a bigger piece of the pie this year. I completely understand. You've been putting in the effort, and it's only fair to expect some recognition. Yeah, I've been consistently hitting my targets, and even exceeding them. I believe it's time for a raise or promotion. Have you discussed this with your supervisor or HR? I brought it up during my last performance review and they seemed positive, but I haven't received any formal communication yet. Sometimes these things take time, but it's crucial to follow up and make sure they remember your contributions. I will. I just want to make sure I get my fair share. Absolutely. You deserve it. Remember, it's not just about the size of the pie. It's about your piece being proportionate to your hard work. Thanks for the encouragement. I'm going to schedule a meeting to discuss this further. Good plan. Stand up for yourself, and I'm sure they'll recognize your value. Here's to hoping I get a bigger piece of the pie soon. Thanks for the support. You've got this. I'm rooting for you. It's a crying shame. Did you hear about the old bookstore in town? Yeah, I did. They're closing it down, right? It's a crying shame. Exactly. It's been a local institution for decades. So much history in those walls. It's sad to see it go. I remember spending hours there as a kid, exploring all those shelves. I had the same experience. It's where I fell in love with reading. And the owner was such a kind, wise person. It's hard to believe they couldn't keep it open. I heard they just couldn't compete with the big chain stores and online retailers. It's a reflection of the changing times, but it's still a loss to the community. You're right. It's not just about the books. It's about the memories and the sense of belonging that place provided. We should go there one last time before it closes its doors. That's a great idea. Let's pay our respects to the place that meant so much to us. It's a crying shame to see it go, but at least we can cherish the memories we made there. Break the ice to start a conversation or activity to relieve tension or awkwardness.
Hey there. It's nice to finally meet you. How's it going? Hi. I've been looking forward to this. I'm doing well, thanks. A bit nervous, though. Don't be nervous. We're all here to have a good time. So, how did you hear about this event? I saw it on social media, actually. It sounded like a great opportunity to break the ice and meet new people. That's awesome. It can be a bit intimidating at first, but I've found that just striking up a conversation with someone is a good way to start. Yeah, you're right. Do you have any tips on how to break the ice? Well, a good way to start is by asking about their interests or sharing a little about yourself. For example, I noticed your enthusiasm for hiking on your profile. Do you have any favorite hiking spots? Thanks for the advice. I love hiking, and one of my favorite spots is the nearby national park. How about you? Do you enjoy the outdoors? Absolutely. I'm an outdoor enthusiast too. I've been to that park a few times. It's gorgeous. See, we're already breaking the ice. You're right. This isn't so bad after all. Thanks for making it easier. No problem. Enjoy the event and have fun meeting new people. Every cloud has a silver lining. There is something positive or beneficial in every situation, even a difficult one. You seem surprisingly upbeat for someone who just lost their job. Well, I believe that every cloud has a silver lining. This might be the push I needed to finally start my own business. That's an impressive perspective to have in such a situation. Tell me more about your business idea. I've always wanted to pursue my passion for photography, and now I have the time and motivation to turn it into a full-time gig. That's great. Sometimes, it takes a setback to discover your true calling. Exactly, and I'm looking into photography courses and networking opportunities. I'm determined to make this work. I admire your determination. It's true that when one door closes, another opens. And I'm going to walk right through that open door. Sometimes, life's challenges can lead to the most unexpected opportunities. I'm rooting for you. With your talent and positive attitude, I have no doubt you'll find success in your photography venture. Thanks for the support. It's a reminder that every cloud has a silver lining, even in the toughest of times. I have to play it by ear. I've been thinking about our weekend plans, but there's some uncertainty with my work schedule. No worries. What's going on? Well, there's a chance I might have to work late on Friday, and I can't confirm until the last minute. I might have to play it by ear. I understand. It's part of your job. So, should we put our plans on hold until you have a clearer picture? That might be the best approach. I hate to keep you waiting but I don't want to make promises I can't keep. It's okay, we can be flexible. We'll work it out. What about Saturday and Sunday? Saturday should be fine, but Sunday might be tricky too. There's a chance I'll have some last minute tasks to handle. We'll adapt and make the most of the time we have. Life has a way of keeping us on our toes. Thanks for being understanding. I'll keep you updated as soon as I know more about my schedule. No problem. We'll play it by ear and make the best of whatever time we have together. Once in a blue moon, 
very rarely or infrequently. Hey, have you heard from Sarah lately? Not really. We catch up once in a blue moon these days. Yeah, I've noticed that too. She's been so busy with her new job. Life gets in the way sometimes. I miss the regular hangouts. Me too. Remember when we used to meet every weekend? Those were the good old days. Now, it's more like once in a blue moon. If we're lucky. True, but it makes our meetups even more special, right? Absolutely. We cherish the time we get together now. Speaking of rare occurrences, did you see the meteor show last night? No, I missed it. I heard it only happens once in a blue moon. Yeah, it was stunning. We should plan to watch it together next time. That sounds like a great idea. We can make it one of our special once in a blue moon moments. Perfect. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Until then, take care and we'll catch up once in a blue moon. It's a piece of cake. Hey, I heard you aced that math exam yesterday. How was it? Oh, it was a piece of cake, really. I mean, I was a bit nervous at first, but once I started, it felt so straightforward. Seriously, I thought it was pretty challenging. I struggled with those algebra problems. Well, I guess we all have our strengths. Algebra just happens to be my thing. But really, it was like a walk in the park. Lucky you. I wish I had your confidence. I was double checking my answers the whole time. Confidence comes with practice, you know. The more you work on those problems, the easier it gets. Just like eating a piece of cake, the first bite might be daunting, but the more you have, the tastier it becomes. I'll keep that in mind. Maybe next time, it'll be a piece of cake for me too. Absolutely, just keep at it, and you'll conquer it. You've got this. Get cold feet to become anxious or nervous about something. I can't believe the wedding is just a week away. Yeah, it's coming up fast. Are you excited? I was, but now I'm starting to get cold feet. Cold feet? Really? What's going on? I don't know. It's just a lot to take in. The commitment, the changes in our lives. And what if I'm not ready for all of it? I get it. It's a big step. But remember why we're doing this. We love each other. And we've been through so much already. You're right. I do love you. 
I'm just overwhelmed by the thought of forever. Forever is a long time, but we'll face it together. We've got a strong foundation, and we'll work through whatever comes our way. Thank you for understanding. I needed to hear that. Anytime. It's natural to have doubts, but I know we're making the right choice. And I promise we'll make this journey worthwhile. You're right. Let's do this. I'm with you all the way. That's my partner. We've got this. Thank you for joining us today on Better English Listening. Don't forget to subscribe to Better English Listening by clicking that subscribe button below. And if you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button. If you have any questions, suggestions, or specific topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please share them in the comments section below. Until next time, keep studying, keep speaking, and keep shining in the world of English. See you in the next lesson.